welcome to another caffeinated entertainment video uh and you see the hand of doom come in right there as my baby sister plays a prank on me but this is the second ever book unhaul video that i'm doing on this channel and it's the same as the first ever book unhaul these books will probably go uh to friends family or the library for a donation because i don't have the money to actually um ship them anywhere sorry about that but I thought I would show the books that I'm getting rid of uh, because I did my second ever shelf calling so I decided to get rid of some books and here they are I'm not gonna go too much into them I'm just gonna go into why I'm getting rid of them and that's it first off is purity by Jonathan Franzen the paperback edition because I found the hardback edition that was much nicer for way cheaper and I'm getting rid of the hardback edition so the next book I'm getting rid of is the Laurel K. Hamilton series. All three of them, I won't go through it, but uh, all three or four of them that I bought because um, the book series was not that good. Uh, it got I got the book five and it got way too way too about the sexual stuff and not about the mystery and the supernatural. It was more about erotica fiction, so I got rid of them. Um, this book I'm getting rid of because I have it in a better, more collectible edition. It's Arthur C. Clarke's Childhood's End. Uh, that's why I'm getting rid of that. These books, um, if I can get it out of, out of the thing here, pardon me. These books, the George R. R. Martin uh, books I'm getting rid of are because they are completely, totally beat up. As you can see the cover is almost coming off of this one already and I have much nicer both leather bound hardback editions and much nicer readable paperback editions on my shelf so these go off the shelf let me use the rigid bookmark thing of throwing the books on the bed to get them out of the shop The next book is Tess Garrison's The Bone Garden because um, it's really, really beat up and, and I'm going to wind up getting a better copy of it. The next book is uh, James Fenimore Cooper's The Last of the Mohicans, hated the book, hated the movie, gone. The next book is Robert Ludlum's um, Agenda, Par um, the, the Argentine Progression, because I'm getting rid of all these beat up Robert Ludlum books because I'll get nicer copies of them eventually down the road when I want to read them. They're just taking up uh, shelf space for books that I actually want to read when I'm not going to read these books, so that's why they're going. Another Laurel K. Hamilton book that I've already discussed. J.A. Jantz, Justice Denied. Um, just don't want to have... I, at the time I picked this up, I wanted to read it. I've lost severe interest in reading it. It's been on my shelf a long time. It's gone. Shadow and Claw by Gene Wolfe. It was a sword and laser book pick that I read and I hated. It's gone. Murder, she wrote. Gin and Daggers. I had a desire to read this, but I'd rather just watch the TV show on Netflix. Uh, I don't have a desire to read it now, so it's gone.
Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. I read this because I wanted to read it to see what the ableist's argument was. I did not like this book because it basically shuns, treat, treats Will as it, that's the way all people with disabilities should be. And I hated this book for that reason, so it's gone. Literally off the bed. Got this book on a whim. Uh, wanted to read it for a long time. It's been on my shelf for a long time. It's gone. I did find out that I have a, another copy of the uh, Silkworm, so I'm getting rid of that too, but I showed it in the last one haul. I won't show it in this one. The Curse of Chayon by Lewis McCap McMaster Bajold. Uh, it was it was a um, sword and laser book pick. I didn't like it. It was not good at all. It's gone. Robert Ludlum book that I've already discussed why I'm getting rid of these, but this is the this is the Parentfield Mosaic. Here's, here's proof that the Robert Galbraith silkworm is once again leaving. This time for good, because I did find my real hardback. This was the one I got in the um, bookcase club box. Done. More Laurel K. Hamilton that I've already explained why I'm getting rid of it. Trying to move this along because we get a lot of books to go through. Another George R. R. Martin book in the Song of Ice and Fire series and I've explained why I'm getting rid of these because I have nicer copies on my shelves. And these are just beat up and they're taking up space that they no longer, uh, they're taking up spaces, space for books I actually want to read. That's why I did the shelf on calling. So that's why this is gone. Dan Simmons Hyperion. Also a Sword and Laser Book Club pick. I didn't like this book as much as other people did. It didn't sit my fancy. I tried to read Fall of Hyperion, which I'm also getting rid of. It's gone though, but I see a bookmark, I believe. So I will save said bookmark unless it's... No, I will not save said bookmark. It's trash. Anyway. Okay. Next book, Brad Thor's the Lions of Lucerne. I'm not reading this book because I don't like Brad Thor's politics. When you put your politics in your writing, I'm not going to like it. Orson Scott Card, I'm also looking at you. And any other author that does that, I'm looking at you as well. Rex Stout's Fjord de Lance. It's the first Nero Wolf novel. And I'm getting rid of it because it's been on my shelf a long time. It's got small print. I'd rather just get it on my Kindle where I can blow up the print and call it a day. I think we're done with that section finally, but we got way more to go. Um, the Born Supremacy. I have a better copy of this book, so that's gone. I have no idea why I bought this book, and when you don't have any, any idea of why you bought a book, and you aren't intending to read it, it goes. I was rather scathing with the knife this time, in cutting books. Here we've got Sanibel Flats by, um, who's this by, by Randy Wayne White. 
um, bought this a long time ago, wanted to read it, never got to it. And we have Life Support by Tess Garrison. I'll get a better copy of this book when I start reading the Rosalian Isles series. That's where it, uh, that's where these books by Tess Garrison come from. So I'll read, um, get better copies of them when I'm ready to read the series. Or I might just read them on my Kindle. So it's gone. These two are gone. Elizabeth Peters, Crocodile on the Sandbank. Um, I'll eventually read Elizabeth Peters, but I haven't read it in a long uh, time. It's the Amelia Peabody series, so I haven't read this in a long time. It's been on my shelf, so it just needed to go. David Bull Dutchies, The Hour Game. Or Balducci, 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 yeah, I don't know how to say it. The Hour Game, I like, um, I want to start reading a series, but, uh, this is one that was on my shelf for a long time, so it's gone. Lisa Scottolini's Moment of Truth. This was a library find. It's really beat up. I found a better copy of it that I liked the cover better. I don't like the orange and blue basicness of it, so I'm getting rid of it. I do like her writing, though. This is an author I have read, and I do like. John Grisham's The Runaway Jury. This is the paperback that I'm getting rid of for the library hall hardback um, that I found. No sense in having two copies. Fall of Hyperion, like I said, tried to read this book after Hyperion. Didn't like it. Dan Simmons doesn't appeal to me. Quite frankly, this was on my shelf for a long time. I had no inkling. This is one of the books I bought because of a cover by it. I like the cover. The cover is beautiful, but I have no inkling to read it. It's Steve Erickson's Guardians of the Moon. I don't really have an inkling to read it, and I would rather spend my time reading books I want to read. Hey, we're almost done here. Almost done. Almost done. Robin Cook, our, this is a science fiction collection that I got at a library sale. I don't want any more. I get these on my Kindle via e-subscription e and I enjoy them. But I don't want a physical copy of it so I'm getting rid of it. Robin Cook's um, Mutation. Uh, not that I don't like Robin Cook, but I just haven't picked these up and I haven't read them, so, and I've had them forever on my shelf and they're taking up valuable, valuable shelf real estate. So they're gone. Now these last two are Robert Ludlum books. One is one is the Hover the Hallcroft Covenant that's still in the box. I won't get it out because I can't reach it. And this one is the Scarletta Inheritance. They are both really really beat up. I do like Robert Ludlum books. 
but the, but these are really really beat up. And if I'm gonna get Robert Ludlum, I'd either read him, I'd, I'd either like to read him on my Kindle, or I'd like to have nicer copies to display on my shelf. Because these are just these look like they need tape already that they're about ready to fall apart. So with that, that that that's that's the end of the book, the second book on all on all on this channel. I feel very comfortable with getting rid of most, if not all, of these books. Uh, it's just a space, it's just a real estate space thing, and I have a new rule that if I don't like a book that I read, it is going into an unhaul section. So I'm sure you'll see more of the unhauls uh, as time goes on, and until next time, like, uh, comment, share, subscribe, uh, comment you if, um, what you think on some of the books I'm getting rid of. And also comment if you've ever done an unhaul. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Again, and I'll see you next time. And keep on reading.